bilaterally, and we also introduced the visa um, exemptions, and all these steps contributed to the further strengthening of our relations. In order to render our economic relations much more um, balanced, we need to do more. And within this regard, we have taken some steps, and we will continue to do so in the foreseeable future in uh, defense, in infrastructure, in commerce, and in tourism. Um, we believe that there is a great potential for cooperation between the two nations. And also between Turkey and Jordan, um, there is cultural um, interaction, and uh, we have student exchange programs as well. Uh, Fifty Jordanian students uh, offered scholarship to um, were offered scholarship by Turkey, and as such, they have been able to come and study in Turkey. And TICA, um, our development agency, has undertaken significant projects in Jordan, and hopefully, we are going to uh, continue these efforts in the upcoming period. The Distinguished members of the press, with my brother King Abdullah, we have had the opportunity to discuss the current state of affairs in our region um, in detail. And of course, um, the most important item on our agenda today was um, the um, current developments in Jerusalem. Jerusalem um, is a holy city. It has a historic um, background, and that needs to be preserved. And on this issue, we share the same sentiments with Jordan. The uh, Jordanian Hashemite uh, kingdom is the custodian of the holy sites in Jerusalem, and we take this guardianship very seriously. Um, any step um, or any misstep regarding the uh, sanctity of Jerusalem would uh, cause a furor in the um, Islamic world, and it would undermine peace, and um, such missteps would also create new tensions and new chasms in our uh, region. Jerusalem um, is a um, holy site for all Muslims. It is the apple of our eye, regardless of um, who it comes from. Any behavior that disrespects this fact uh, would um, bring um, violence and would bring uh, would bring. Um, a lack of peace. For stability in the Middle East, the only way is to uh, recognize the 1967 uh, borders and um, a Palestinian state's uh, capital should be um, Eastern Jerusalem. And as the uh, term president of the uh, Islamic uh, Cooperation Organization, uh, we are going to uh, organize an extraordinary summit. And with my dear brother, we have discussed that uh, this summit needs to be held in Istanbul on the 13th of December um, in Istanbul. And uh, one day prior to the leaders' summit, um, our uh, ministers of foreign affairs will come together. And on Wednesday, um, a, a leaders' meeting is going to be held. And with the decisions uh, that are to be taken there, the final declaration will be announced to the entire world. The world of Islam um, needs to um, get together in terms of uh, preserving the sanctity of Jerusalem. We think that to be very important. The term president, the term chair of the um, Arab League is my brother, King um, Abdullah, and uh, throughout this process we will continue to be in close cooperation. So I would like to call out to the in entire world from here and say that uh, Jerusalem um, is uh, protected by UN resolutions as well. It has a legal status. Any steps that would challenge this uh, status should be shy away from. Um, no one has the right to play with the destiny of billions of people uh, for personal gain because such a move would only serve the purposes of terrorist organizations. Um, distinguished members of the press with my dear brother, we had the opportunity to also discuss uh, Syria and Iraq. 
And once again, um, uh, we um, agreed that we attach great importance to territorial integrity of Syria and Iraq. And Jordan has the same concerns as we do. And um, regarding those uh, millions of brothers and sisters who have had to fled, flee Syria and Iraq are hosted by us and by Jordan. Currently, uh, Turkey hosts 3 million people. Um, and Jordan hosts more than 1 million Syrians in total. And in the upcoming period, we are going to continue to cooperate on these issues for the peace and prosperity and the stability of the region. We are going to further strengthen our ties. And um, I hope that the visit of my dear brother, King Abdullah, will serve our countries and our region as well. And I would like to once again uh, say that it has been an honor for us to host him and his uh, spouse. And I also would like to take this opportunity to uh, send my regards to uh, my Jordanian brothers and sisters. Shukran. In the name of God, most gracious, most merciful. on the heels of your very successful visit to Jordan earlier this year and comes uh, at a very timely moment. Uh, not only are we here to discuss, obviously, the, our bilateral uh, um, uh, agreements and our future, uh, which you have outlined so eloquently, uh, but also with the challenges that we are facing uh, in the region. Um, our meetings uh, here are obviously built on a, a deep-rooted historical ties, and as you said, we're looking forward to um, uh, welcoming the 70th uh, year of our uh, very historic uh, relations and ties, and uh, to expand our ongoing political, economic, and security uh, cooperation. There is vast potential uh, to increase trade and investment levels, and as uh, was based on today's uh, meetings, I'm really looking forward to our ministerial level uh, delegates to be able to take us into a new phase of relationship between our two nations. Unfortunately, we, we come at a time um, to uh, visit you here, sir, in your country. Uh, um, today, more than ever before, we face uh, regional developments that require close, coordinated and consultations between our two countries. Uh, and I am very happy to say not only uh, the support uh, that uh, um, uh, you, sir, have shown to, uh, to Jordan uh, in Jerusalem, uh, but how closely we work together to overcome uh, the tremendous challenges that we as an Ummah and region uh, face. Uh, as uh, we both agree, um, the Palestinian cause continues to be the region's central uh, issue. There is no alternative to the two-state solution, and Jerusalem is key to any peace agreement, uh, and it is key to the stability of the entire region. Uh, I did re-emphasize to um, the U.S. President yesterday uh, our concerns on the decision to move the U.S. Embassy to Jerusalem. Um, therefore, it is imperative now uh, to work fast to reach a final status solution and a peace agreement between Palestinians and Israelis. And this must allow Palestinians to establish their independent state side by side with Israel and its capital in East Jerusalem. Now, ignoring the Palestinian Muslim and Christian rights in Jerusalem will only fuel further extremism and undermine the war against terrorism. And we in Jordan, as the custodian of Islamic and Christian holy sites, we will persist in undertaking our religious and historical responsibilities towards Al-Aqsa Mosque and Al Haram al Sharif, and uphold our role in protecting Muslim and Christian holy sites in Jerusalem. And again, I want to thank the President for his support. As the President uh, has mentioned, uh, we are both in full agreement on the need for holding an OIC summit uh, on Jerusalem uh, next week that will bring together Arabs and Muslim leaders. Briefly, uh, sir, you talked about other regional challenges, and I'll just mention here Syria. Uh, efforts at this stage should be directed in building on the Astana talks to realize a political solution according to the Geneva process and ensuring uh, Syria's unity, stability, and safety for its people. Uh, Mr. President, uh, this is probably uh, one of the strongest visits that we uh, have had uh, between our two countries uh, as we stand shoulder to shoulder to face the challenges that uh, lie ahead. And I look forward very much to being with you again uh, in Istanbul next week. So thank you very much.